Hey guys, welcome back. So today's makeup video is going to be a little different. I don't think I've ever done one of these videos before because you guys know that I like doing voiceovers. I'm not big on talking because I feel like I ramble. I feel like I don't make sense. I feel like I can't get it together when the camera turns on. But I decided to do a get ready with me. This is how I get ready every day, like my natural everyday makeup look, everyday hair. Plus, I wanted to do some first impressions of the Burberry products that I recently talked about on our Instagram. If you guys follow us on Instagram, if not, go follow us at Pucker Up Style. So anyway, I thought it would be a good time to add these first impressions and just do like a little walk through my natural everyday makeup, my natural hair, and just do a little chit chat, which I end up talking about makeup most of the time, but I do have some random conversations thrown in there. So if you guys want to see how I do my makeup and my hair every day, my natural everyday makeup look, adding a little review of the Burberry stuff and some random chit chat and random thoughts, then just keep on watching. I've just got to turn a little bit of music on to get started because I never get ready without music. You may or may not be able to hear it, but either way it's for me. I've said this before in my videos, I usually sleep in a French braid pretty much every single night because I'm so lazy and usually during the week I don't do my hair. I just let the French braid out, add some volume to it, and I go. But recently, just like two days ago, I got my hair cut. It was getting so long and it was so stringy and dry from the blonde that I had put in it this last summer that it needed a good chop. And I got some good layers and texture and then I also got some bangs. So I actually have to do my hair a little bit more today than what I usually do. But it's what I wanted, so. So I just take it out and I actually showered this morning too, which I usually shower at night. So my hair might still be a little bit wet, but usually I just take it out and I kind of shake it around for a minute and then brush it through. But like, I don't know about you, but this to me, I'm good to go. Like I don't even need to do anything, in my opinion at least. But for the sake of let's get ready with me, I'll show you a curl that I will add to it if I end up doing my hair. So the bangs I cut, I'm super excited about. They're just like short bangs and I part my hair in the middle, but I also will kind of pull them to the middle so they're a little bit straight across, but they're not done so they're extra long. So I can kind of do a little bit of both with them for now, and I really love them. I really love how they turned out. So with that being said, the curling iron that I use is this, and I filmed a whole tutorial with this curling iron before, like a long time ago. This is my favorite curling iron. It is just a Conair, Conair curling iron, and it's super cheap, and it has worked the best for my hair. And I honestly don't even want to curl it right now because like I love how it looks. But I'll just show you a few curls so you know like how to do it. So I just take it and I just wrap it like this. And I hold it for like 10, 20 seconds. I let it out, flip it, and brush through. And like like I said, my hair is pretty much already curled. It like looks awesome today. So there's not really a lot I have to do, and it's like kind of blending in perfectly, but you can see that curl a little better. And sometimes, just kind of depends on the look you're, I'm going for, but sometimes, right after I'm done curling the piece, I'll brush through it, like this. And other times, if I want it a little bit tighter, I'll curl it and let it sit and move around and curl all of my hair and then let it sit and dry for a minute and then I brush through it with my hands. So if you curl your hair and you let your hair dry like the, from the heat cool down, not dry, I mean cool down, it will last longer and it will be a tighter curl. There's a ton because I like how they're looking. And I'm sorry I'm looking off to the side, that's kind of what I'm using is my mirror because my mirror right here is like broken. So it's like, I gotta look down like that to see myself. And then same thing, maybe I'll curl a few pieces in the back. All right, I'm gonna call it good. Um, if 
you do need more curls, just keep going around with a curling iron and get some more curls in there. But like I said, I'm really happy with how this looks. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right, another thing that I'll do, I usually have to do it once a week when my hair is clean. So I only wash my hair usually once a week. I do work out every day so I get sweaty. So sometimes I have to wash it more than once a week. But I try to go like once, twice a week only. So right when my hair is clean, it is pretty flat. So I have to go in and wrap it up with a comb and hairspray, back comb it. So I just take each, se each section and I comb it like that, spray it, comb it, which you guys all know how to back comb hair. If not, let me know and I can do a whole video about it. Um, but since today it's a little bit dirty, I don't need to back comb it. So I, oh, and another thing I use too is uh, this Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. And I usually use this mostly when my hair is clean, like I said. And it's just a powder, and what you do, and I don't want to use it right now because it's expensive, um, and I don't need it. I just sprinkle a little bit on at my roots, and then I brush it in like this. And it adds so much texture and volume to my hair. It kind of adds just like a dirty feel. So I do it like all like I'm just showing you as if I were doing it. Um, but it just adds like a grit to your hair so that when you go like this, it has something to stick to so it'll actually hold up because when my hair is clean I don't have like that grease or anything that's like keeping my hair up so it's super flat like even when I do this it just like falls right back down so it's nice to add to your hair if you're like me and you have really flat roots and then the last thing I do which again I'm not going to do because I don't want to waste my products when my hair is already looking pretty good today which I'm really happy for this video but kind of sad for you guys because you don't get to see how I usually do it but this Saints and Sinners um, texturizing spray, which, so I curl my hair, I, fl I, I um, will back comb it, or I'll back comb it, then curl my hair, sorry I'm all over the place, and then I will put the powder play in, and then I will use my texturizing spray, which you just spray like this, and I just do the same thing where I just kind of fluff it in, and spray, spray, and then you know you can shake your hair, flip it, whatever. And that's really awesome. It kind of does the same thing that the powder does. Um, they're different products, obviously. The powder is like a good root pump, but that adds texture and volume and grit throughout your whole hair. So it's awesome. I love it. So for the makeup, I'm going to be zooming in a little bit closer, but real quick, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the products I'm going to use today. So I just recently got some Burberry products, makeup products in the mail. And if you follow our Instagram, you saw the Insta story hopefully, or the Insta snaps, whatever you call them. And in the Insta story, I tried them out on my hand and I was loving the way that they looked. So I thought today would be a perfect time, like as I get ready with me, like let's talk and first impressions of these Burberry products. I have my lashes done. I've been getting them done just because I work early in the mornings and I'm lazy and I don't want to wake up extra early to get ready. So it's been nice to have them so I can just do like a quick makeup look, quick hair and just go and still look presentable. Um, but I did fill in my brows already because I didn't want to have to do that on camera and you guys have seen me fill my brows in a million times. So I felt like that wasn't a big deal to like show you how to do that here. So anyway, let's zoom us in. All right, so first I'm gonna be going in with this Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base. And in the Insta story, I said that um, liquid illuminators could be used as a highlight over your foundation and everything, or as a base before your foundation. It just kind of depends on the liquid illuminator because sometimes they're strong enough that they could be used as a highlighter. But this one I felt like was more subtle and I definitely think its purpose was to be worn underneath that foundation to leave a really pretty glow. So that's what we're going to use it for today. So I'm just going to pump some in my hand. Oh, this feels so amazing. It's like cooling. It's so hot in here. But if I turn the fan on, it'll make all sorts of weird noises. But it feels so good on my skin. And it smells good too. I'm just going to drag it over my eyes a little bit because I probably won't be putting eyeshadow on my eyelids. Oh, that's so pretty. So it's really subtle. 
It's just got a really light shimmer to it. The camera's probably not picking it up, but it feels amazing on my skin. I think it's a, such a good base for a foundation so far. And then what I usually do, what, um, but I'm not going to show you today just because I don't want to cover up this um, glow, this illuminator that I just added onto my skin. But I also recently got this Color Science. Um, it's a clinical redness corrector. And I don't have a ton of redness on my skin usually, like maybe around my nose like the typical woman does. And then like maybe it's a little bit from like previous acne or something like that. But it does have SPF 50 in it and it is tinted. So what I've been doing, and I love doing it, is I put it on before my foundation and I rub it all over and it does add a slight base like it kind of covers up a little bit and it does cover up the redness around my nose and then I like pat it into my skin and it's that sunscreen for me and it's a good base and then I put my foundation on top of that because I've been lazy and I haven't been wearing concealer I know it's so bad I just wear foundation and so when I use that I kind of feel like I don't have to use concealer because I do drag it all the way up under my eyes and over my eyes and it adds like a base and it is supposed to cover redness so it is thick enough that it covers that without being too thick and cakey, if that all makes sense. So then after that I go in with my foundation and I've been using this foundation for a long time now and it is still one of my favorites and it's just at the drugstore, it's L'Oreal Infallible, Infallible Pro Glow. They do have a matte one too if you guys prefer more of a matte finish but my skin is dry and I like it looking more dewy and glowy and so that's why I get this one. And I'm just going in with my foundation brush and just going in circular motions just right over that illuminator. And I do drag it down my neck and I've talked about why I do that because even if the foundation matches perfectly, it still, like, I still see lines on people's face. So just drag it down so you don't see any of that. So every day I do put on a light coat of foundation. I don't do a heavy face of makeup because I like to be able to do both. I like wearing a lot of makeup, but I also want to be able to take it down to really natural. Again, I'm doing another big no-no. What I do every day is I actually just rub it in with my hands, like a tinted moisturizer. And I know some makeup artists are going to be like, oh, that's so bad. But I make sure my hands are clean and it really adds a light, light amount on, which is what I'm going for. So right after I get done putting on that um, Color Science Redness Corrector, I just put it on with my hands and pat it like kind of rub it in and then I pat it all in and that's what I do. But today I'm going to add some concealer for you. I'm pretty sure it's the Fit Me Maybelline concealer and I will link that for you obviously. Um, and like I said, I don't usually do concealer every day because I'm too lazy. But some people need it and if you do want to add a little bit, just add a little bit under your eyes. Like It's not going to take that much extra time if you do want to add concealer. I'm just lazy and I teach at a well sub at a elementary school so I'm like well nobody here cares or even probably notices a difference not that that's why we get ready is to impress other people but sometimes it's just to look your best and feel your best this hand mirror is literally driving me nuts look at look how first off look how cute it is this is why I bought it but look at this it like wiggles around and it doesn't hold itself up anymore like how does that even look at this how does that even happen I'm so done with it. So I'm just going to use this, my camera, so if it looks like I'm staring at myself, I am, but I need to because that is my mirror and it's not the best mirror, which I am going to have to grab this now to use it so that I can get just a close view of how it is looking. So annoying, this mirror drives me nuts. I need a new one. Oh, I'm like gonna chuck it across the room. Stay. All right. And then for my eyes, just because I have lashes on, I don't want to put the beauty blender on it, so I'm just gonna use my hands and kind of blend that and pat that in. But you guys know with your da damp beauty blender, just pat it back and forth, back and forth, and make sure it is damp because that is how you use it. It should not be dry. And people think, oh, but it takes off all my concealer. It shouldn't. 
it does take off some, it's like allowing you to put on enough, but not too much, and blending it in, and it blends in so perfectly, it's like an airbrush finish. And then I end up going over, when I do use a beauty blender, just go over the whole foundation while I'm at it, just to make sure there are no lines from the brush or any foundation that didn't get blended in. I feel like when I get on here, all I talk about is makeup, and I never talk about my life. It's because I really feel like I have nothing to talk about, or I feel like there's nothing I could talk about that would actually interest you guys. But I will try to get better at that and like think of actual topics to talk to you about. If you do want to put eye eyeshadow on your lid and you don't have false eyelashes, just add like a little shadow on your crease and then add some mascara. And that's what I did before I had lashes. I just added a little, I'll just show you. Why not just show you? A little bit of makeup, but also like wear a lot because I've been working for years now to feel comfortable in my own skin because I actually struggled with acne very, very, very bad um, coming out of high school. So high school I had baby, baby, baby face. And then I hit college and it slowly started breaking out. And then, um, so I'm gonna scoot down here. I'm just doing the under eye with that same shadow and the same blending brush because I'm just gonna blend it all out. Anyway, starting college, I started breaking out a little bit and then it got worse and worse like each year and I'm like oh my gosh I've already been I've already matured like I'm out of high school like why am I getting acne it was the worst ever I've actually thought about getting on here and doing an acne story my acne story because so many people don't believe that I had bad acne I do have some acne scars some subtle acne scars on my cheek that I have worked very hard to lighten and soften um, but people don't believe me because my face is so clear now but I, have, I took pictures, and I have them still, of how bad it was, and it was the worst thing in the world, and I felt so embarrassed all the time because your face is what everybody sees, like, and being into makeup and things like that, it just, it was, I was so insecure all the time. I remember just sitting in the mirror and just bawling, like, looking at my skin and just bawling. Um, I'm starting to get into the acne story. But anyway, long story short, um, because like I said, I've been thinking about doing a whole video about it, so I don't want to like say too much. Um, I always had to wear so much makeup on my face to cover up the acne, and so then I had to wear a lot of makeup on my eyes because I felt like if I'm going to wear that much makeup on my skin, I need to make up for it and match it and wear that much makeup on my eyes. So I always took so long in the mornings to get ready and I always I was so used to wearing so much makeup that it's taken me so long to just get used to like knowing that I'm beautiful in my natural natural skin and here's the thing even if you don't have clear skin that's what I was trying to like accomplish even when I had acne like that just because my skin was broken out and just because I had acne everywhere didn't mean I wasn't beautiful but it was so hard to feel like that and it was so hard to be comfortable in my own skin. Ugh, it was just a nightmare and for those of you struggling with acne right now or who have struggled with it, you get what I'm saying and I am there for you. So I am just putting a light coat of mascara on my bottom lashes now. And it is my favorite mascara, the Maybelline Lash Sensational um, in Black is Black. And if you do put that on your top lashes, I do three coats. I do one, one, two, two, three, three. Like I switch. And that to me, I feel like is perfect. It just builds up your lashes. It's dark and it just looks so pretty and so natural, but it looks like you've got lashes. Okay, so now that I have done that, I am gonna go in with a another Burberry product and I'm going to be going in with that um, contour stick. I have actually never used a contour stick so I've heard great things about all different brands of them but I personally have never tried them yet. But I'm going to do the same thing where I go from the ear down, stop about right there 
like and this might not be enough I might add a little bit more but just don't bring it too close down like I've said in my other videos you don't want to start looking like the Joker I love how I said that I wasn't gonna use that mirror anymore and here I am using the mirror it's winning we'll see if this is enough I might have to add more like I said I've never used a contour stick before so I don't know how this is gonna look I really like the color of it because I'm not the person that loves a super warm contour. I like cooler tones. And I'm being very soft around this nose because I don't want it, because it is a natural look, I don't want to sculpt it out too much. But I do just want to add a little bit of shadow. And I do add a little shadow on my jaw as well. See, this is really pretty. I can't tell if this is picking up very good in the camera, like if it's dark enough. Yeah, it's not showing up very well in the camera because it is very light. Um, but it feels really good on my skin so far. And it's blending really nice. It's very creamy. So I also said this in my Insta story. Um, these products that I'm using today from Burberry are a creamy consistency. So really good for those of you with dry skin and even if you have oily skin you might be thinking oh well that's not for me then it still can be um, you can still use cream based products just make sure you set it with a powder so they don't slide and move I even set mine with a powder even though I have dry skin just because I have a powder that is my ride or die you can tell in the camera how that added like a light glow like some shadow to my face, like a really pretty sun-kissed look. But just so that the camera can see a little bit more, I'm going to add a, a little bit more to make it a little darker because I want you guys to see how it looks. Guys, listen to how sad this is. This just reminds me because this song just came on by Jason Drulo. I've been obsessed with Jason Drulo for years now. Just like every song I hear, I love. Like he's one of those artists to me that just as incredible and has such good beats to his songs and we had the opportunity to go to his concert it was supposed to be this weekend and supposed to be because it got cancelled I freaked out when we bought the tickets we were row 16 it was a pool pool party concert so it was at a pool it was outdoors and I was gonna go with my friend Chelsea who I can't imagine going without her because out of all of my friends, like I love all of my friends, but Chelsea and I feel like are really similar and we are like, let's go crazy, let's dance hard, let's twerk, let's work it. And so I just know that her and I would have had so much fun and I was like dreaming about it. I was so excited and then it got canceled. Okay, so you can see how that looks. I did add a little bit more, but it's still really soft on camera which I'm kind of bummed about because looking in real life, it's really pretty. Usually with something this light that's showing this light on camera, I would go in with a, another contour color and build on top of it so you guys could see what I'm doing. However, since I am doing a really natural look, I'm just hoping you guys take my word for this. If you are wanting a natural look, this is such a pretty natural glow like it just adds like natural shadows to the face instead of like a strong distinct like oh that girl contoured it just looks so natural and pretty like I'm loving this I love 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 this okay now I'm gonna go in with the highlighters this is the um, uh, fresh glow highlighting luminous pen it does seem really light and soft so I might build on top of it but I was thinking of using it as my brow highlight and my inner corner. But I'm also going to put it here just because I want to see like what it looks like. So I'm just going to kind of do that. And then blend it in with my finger. You could blend it in with a beauty blender. It's very, very natural. Very, very soft. So now I'm actually glad that I'm doing this specific video with these products. Because I was kind of doing like a get ready with me. And like I do more of a natural get ready look. I'm going in with a synthetic brush because I do want to add it to my brow and see how it looks as a brow highlight. That's so pretty. It's just, it's so hard to do really natural looks on the camera because in order to do a natural look, you have to go extreme so the camera can see it. I'm going to do this. 
and blend it in. But I, I probably will go over the top of it for um, because I do have that pressed powder by Burberry. They also sent, so I'll probably go over it with that just so it shows up a little bit more on camera. But say I was not filming and I was just going every day, this would be good. Like I feel pretty good about this, like how everything's looking right now. First impressions, so far so good. Everything is very creamy, very pretty, very soft, very natural. I love the tints, I love the shades. I just don't know how they're gonna sit on my face throughout the day, so I will let you know. All right, so now I am gonna go in with this Burberry Fresh Glow Highlighter. It's rose gold. I'm hoping it's not too dark for my skin because I am pale right now. Um, I haven't been seeing, even though it's still been hot here in Arizona, I haven't laid out in a long time. Oh, but look at this. Can you guys see how pretty that is? And it is a pressed powder, so I know that this one will be a little bit more bold and dramatic. So if you guys aren't about the soft, natural glow like I am, this will be a better highlighter for you because it's gonna add more of a pop and highlight, which, to be honest with you, like even though I am all about the soft and natural, I do like more of a pop and highlight no matter what. Oh, that's really pretty. So today is my, well it's Friday, but yesterday was my Friday. So today feels kind of like Saturday because we don't have the day, or because we have the day off, and it is Veterans Day today, so Obviously this video won't be going up today, but happy Veterans Day, or hope you guys had a good Veterans Day. I definitely admire those of you who have supported family in the military. Um, my husband Ryan is with the Air Force right now. He's doing the scholarship program for Mid uh, Midwestern. I'm not for Midwestern, but because he's at Midwestern in dental school, he is doing um, the scholarship program to help pay for school. It's an awesome, awesome program, but I definitely had my doubts because I am so clingy. Like, he's my best friend. He is my everything. And without him, I feel like I am not me. And maybe some of you guys would be like, oh, well, you need to learn to be independent and be your own you. And I am my own you, but he completes me. And so it scared me with the military because I... I give props to those women that can send their husbands off, like, and that's probably gonna have to be me someday. I think it probably for sure will. And I just like, I tip my hat to you guys. Like it, it would be so hard, so, so hard. But you know, it's gonna help us get out of debt and it'll be a good experience for us. And it was something that Ryan actually wanted to do. Like it wasn't just about the money. It wasn't just about the debt, but he did think it would be a good experience which it will. Alright, mirror. It was going strong, you guys. It was going strong. And then it tipped over. So I am just adding that pressed powder over top of that glow, just so you can see a little bit more. And I added a lot so you can see, like, oh, the dye. So that definitely, whether you like it natural, whether you like it bold, that is a good highlighter and it is a very pretty shade. I don't think I have yet to try a shade like this. It is very pretty and very glowy. But I'm going to now set with powder, my all-time favorite powder, which is the Bye Bye Pores It Cosmetics Powder. And I get the translucent powder and it is amazing. I use it every single day. Heavy makeup, light makeup, every single day. Um, they do have pressed and they have translucent, which I have both. I use translucent a lot when I'm baking. And if I'm just like really fast, like doing a fast get ready, the, the pressed powder is better because it doesn't get all over the place. However, my pressed powder is almost gone and I brought up my translucent one. So I'm going to be using that. But if you're like wanting to get ready fast and do like a fast makeup look and you don't bake a lot, get the pressed powder because it's easier to work with than the loose. So I just set my under eye and set right here by my nose because that's where my pores are the most visible. And that sets my makeup like the rest of the day. And not only does it set it, but like I said, it adds like a mask over your face. So if you were to touch your face after like really lightly, it's super soft because it hides your pores. 
I've found that a lot of powders that I've used will enhance my pores, which it makes me not want to use pores. You, it makes me not want to use powders. But when I'm baking and when I want my makeup to stay on all day, it's like you need to use a powder. And so I hated baking because my pores were always enlarged. Maybe I just wasn't using the right powders. Like, but ever since I tried this one, it's like every day I use a powder every single day because it does not show my pores. It doesn't dry me out any more than I already am. And it holds my makeup all day. And then for the last thing I'm gonna do is just add a lip color. I have this Burberry lip shade. It says it's a lip color contour, um, but it's really pretty, perfect for this time of year. So I am gonna put that on and see how that looks. I might have to dip down off camera, so I don't know if it's even worth filming, but we'll see. I have a scar on my lip here that always like messes me up. I bit through my lip twice in my life. I bit through my lip here, and I bit through my lip here. This time was worse. I had to get stitches. This other time wasn't as bad. But it's kind of funny. Both of them are for my brother's heads. <laughs> and I have three brothers, so hopefully it doesn't happen again. But this one, I was jumping on the trampoline. We were, it was me, my brother Winston, and we had the hose. And so we had the water on the trampoline. Have you guys ever done that as a kid? Like, it was the funnest thing in the world. But I had jumped up high and I came down and landed right on his head and bit my lip and just started bleeding everywhere. And it's funny, like, I was a kid, I don't cry a lot um, with physical pain, like emotional pain and, or like emotionally or just like sentimentally, if that's even a thing. I cry all the time. Like, I cry if I'm too happy, I cry if I'm too sad, I cry if I'm too mad, I cry if I'm too excited. Like, I am just such a crier. So physical pain just doesn't really phase me. Maybe I haven't been in enough physical pain, but most physical pain things that I've gone through in my life, I haven't cried. So when I was a kid and there was like blood everywhere, I was just kind of like, whoa, what is going on? There's a hole in my lip, had to go get stitches. Then the other one also happened on the tramp with my other brother, Emerson, and we were bouncing on the tramp and something happened, I don't even remember, but something happened where his head got hit the side of my mouth, like we got thrown into each other or something. I was a wild child, you guys. We were wild children. I have scars all over the place. I cracked my head open like here four or five different times here in this exact spot. I have scars on my elbow, on my feet, on my legs, like, I was out of control. If I have kids like me, oh my gosh. I don't even know how long this video is, but I hope it's interesting for you guys. Okay, that is super pretty. I love this color. But I am going to take some of this rose gold highlight and add a little bit of highlight to the center of it just have like a little pouty effect. So here is the finished look. Um, my hair is not done, but it's done. And I love that. If your hair, like I said, doesn't do this with a French braid, no big deal. Just take a curling iron, curl a few pieces, do some loose ones, tight ones, you do you. But this is my natural everyday go-to look, adding a few extra tips, which I explained. Anyway, I hope you guys liked it, and I hope that I didn't go off on too many random spurts and that this video isn't too long, and I hope you guys are entertained. And if you have any questions at all or want to know about any of the products that I'm using, I'll keep you updated on the Burberry ones. But if you have any questions at all, let me know. Leave a comment. We love to hear from you guys. We love hearing your guys' feedback. There's been certain people that have given us feedback on our videos. And we've really appreciated it. So obviously we like kindness. We don't like rude comments. But nice critiques, things like that, we absolutely love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching.